Hey guys, it's Desiree. Did you know that you can make your own nut milk at home? I don't know if you've ever made nut milk, but I have and it's so much fresher than the store-bought ones and doesn't have any additives either. Even though it's better when you make it yourself, it's also a lot of work to do. You have to soak the nuts in water overnight, then blend the nuts with some fresh water in a high-speed blender. Then this is where it gets really fun. You have to pour the mixture into a mesh nut milk bag and strain it by hand. This results in some fresh nut milk and nut milk bag filled with leftover nut meal that you have to figure out what to do or else it would just go to waste. And nuts are already expensive, so you don't want to throw your money away. This way is great and all, but you may not want to make it on a regular basis since it's very time consuming. I found an easier, faster, and more sustainable way of making nut milk and it's using the Nutra Milk Machine. The Nutra Milk is a machine that takes raw nuts and turns it into fresh nut milk just by pressing a button. Not only does it make nut milk, but it also makes nut butters too. I love it when appliances are multifunctional because it's like having two appliances in one. Nutra Milk sent me this machine to play with and I'm going to review it to see what it can do and if it's something you should consider getting. So let's get to making some milk. I'm going to make a sweet cashew milk using raw cashews and some coconut palm sugar. It comes with this wiper blade to scrape the nuts from accumulating on the side of the mixing basin. In order to make milk, you need a minimum of one cup of dry ingredients like nuts or seeds to three cups of liquid. The machine will turn the dry ingredient you are using, in this case, the cashews, into a nut butter first. This machine is definitely powerful and it breaks down these cashews into tiny pieces in a matter of minutes. Now that the cashew butter is ready, I'm going to add some coconut water into the Nutra milk. You can use regular water if you want. The machine will mix the cashew butter with the water and strain it through its built-in strainer on the side to an outer compartment in the basin. So what you see there is the actual cashew milk that's ready to drink. Just from the first sip, I could taste the big difference. Not only could I taste the freshness, but I could taste the actual cashews in this milk. It was very predominant, unlike the store-bought milk, where you may just get a hint of the cashew taste. And the Nutra milk didn't leave much waste behind either. To see how it does with making nut butter, I'm gonna make a chocolate hazelnut butter, similar to a Nutella, but with only two ingredients. It still does a great job of grinding these raw hazelnuts. The hazelnut butter did come out very creamy, I added some non-dairy chocolate chips, which took a while to melt, probably because they were non-dairy. When I stored the chocolate hazelnut butter in the refrigerator, it did harden, so I just melted it in the microwave when I wanted to eat it. I think it got hard because of the chocolate I used. I previously made an almond cashew nut butter that stayed soft and creamy even when it was stored in the refrigerator. It didn't separate either, like the store-bought nut butters. The only difference between the two was that one had chocolate and the other didn't. So it all depends on the chocolate you use if you decide to add chocolate to it. I previously said that the Nutra Milk only makes nut milk and nut butter, but I was wrong. It could do a few other things like make dips, smoothie bowls, smoothies, milkshake, and even hummus. I actually made some carrot hummus in this machine without having to use a separate food processor. I roasted the carrots first, then I added to the Nutra Milk the chickpeas, the carrots, some garlic, tahini, cumin, and salt. To make the hummus, it's just like making the nut butter since you are using the butter function to combine the ingredients. Once the mixture was blended, I added some olive oil and lemon juice and ran the butter cycle again for a few more seconds so that the hummus was creamy. As with all of my reviews, I'm gonna tell you what I like and don't like about the Nutra Milk. Here's what I like about the Nutra Milk. First, you can make milks and butters out of the ingredients you have at home, like nuts, rice, and seeds, and you don't have any additives or preservatives in your nut butters and nut milks. Second, it's not only for making milks and nut butters. You can use it to make dips, drinks like milkshakes, smoothies, coffee drinks, and smoothie bowls. Third is that no ingredient goes to waste. The Nutra Milk uses all of the ingredients and you'll have zero waste using it. Also, it lets you get creative with what you can make with it and you can come up with your own versions of nut milks and nut butters that you won't find in the store. 
with the exception of the chocolate hazelnut butter that I made that came out a little bit hard because of the non-dairy chocolate chips that I used. The nut butters that you make in the Nutri Milk stay soft and spreadable even when you store it in the refrigerator. And the last thing I like about the Nutri Milk is that it's so much easier to make nut milk with it and it doesn't involve any cooking skills. Here's what I didn't like about the machine. First is the size. The machine itself is pretty big and heavy, so you need to make some room on your counters to store it. And it's kind of tall, so you need to make sure your cabinets are high enough so you can store it underneath. But being that it's big, you can make a lot of milk and butter with it. And the other thing I didn't like about the Nutri Milk is that you can't make soy milk with this machine because the Nutri Milk doesn't heat the ingredients and in order to make soy milk, you need to heat it. I wanna thank Nutri Milk for sending me their machine to review. I've included a link to where you get more information about the Nutri Milk and how you could purchase your very own machine. I'm gonna continue playing with it and using it to create new recipes so you will definitely be seeing more of this machine in upcoming videos. I wanna thank you for watching and if you like this video, go ahead and click on that like button, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. I'll end this video with some slow motion footage of the cashew milk I made because it's cool to look at and I'll see you later.